Hey ladies and welcome to Chelsea. Um, this is my first video on YouTube, so I thought I'd start off by doing the seamstress tag that Holly So started. Really enjoyed her first few videos, so I thought this would be a great way to introduce myself and I'm just gonna jump right into the questions. They're on my phone here, so I'm gonna keep this handy so I can look at them. So, who am I? My name is Chelsea. I'm Canadian. I live in Canada. I am a mom. I have two very small children and that's pretty much my current identity. I do work full time, but I'm off on maternity leave right now. Why and when did you start sewing? That is very relevant to my children and my motherhood. So um, a little over a year ago when I was pregnant with my daughter, I was looking for um, nursery linens, curtains, decor items, that sort of thing. And everything that I was seeing um, mostly on Pinterest that I was liking was custom-made stuff on Etsy that was crazy expensive and I am frugal so I decided to try my hand at making it myself. Um, my mom taught me how to sew when I was really little, basic stuff, but I got um, some hand-me-down really old sewing machines and I ordered some fabric that I liked and I just looked up tutorials and jumped right in trying to make her nursery stuff and that is really what got me back into sewing as a hobby and doing it a lot. What is your favorite or proudest make? So my proudest make is my first wearable dress that I actually made and have got a lot of wear out of. It is um, it's made with a striped ponte knit that I found at Fabricland for three dollars a meter and I thought Whatever, it's $3 a meter. If I screw it up, it doesn't matter. So I'll insert some pictures of it somewhere of me wearing it um, on a vacation that I wore it to. And I also wore it to my sister's graduation. And it actually is um, a regular dress pattern that I got on Craftsy for free. And then I used a nursing hack where the um, front bodice actually lifts up and there's a cut underneath so that you can discreetly nurse which is really important to me and most nursing dresses that you find are not that cute so I thought um, they're not that cute and they're expensive so I was really happy that I was able to make something myself that I can actually wear I don't feel like it looks handmade which to me is a win moving on what is your most disastrous mistake so my most disastrous mistake was also a nursing dress, also with a $3 a meter discount fabric that I found in a fabric bin, but it was like a really thin jersey. Um, I might insert a picture of it, I'm not sure, maybe I'll just like insert a hilarious clip of me wearing it or something, but it's basically, um, I think I got overconfident when I made my first dress and it worked out. So I tried to be a designer and draft a pattern out of my head with no instructions with a really um, thin knit jersey and it looks like um, like a toga or something hilarious is really funny um, but it didn't work out and that's when I decided that um, patterns were worth looking into. Where is your favorite place to go fabric shopping? I have two places that I really like to look for fabric um, one is fabric.com and that's actually in the United States so I have to order it online and then have it shipped to Canada which is pretty reasonably priced however it uh, it does add on to the price a lot with the exchange and everything but it has some really nice stuff my most favorite place to go shopping is Fabricland because it's nearby to me and I can go and see this stuff in person and they have lots of great sales I'm a member there which gets you discounts. That's where I get all my notions um, It is kind of expensive, but it's affordable. It's not too bad for what you get What is your most used pattern? I Would say that I don't have a most used pattern. I'm really new and I'm just getting new patterns and trying them out or using tutorials online when I'm doing home decor stuff so I really don't have one at this point. I think my Tessa sheath dress from Love Notions could be my most used pattern. It's um, like my favorite new pattern that I've got and I can see myself using it a lot. Your most dreaded sewing task is necklines. Mostly necklines or any major I just, I hate the things that you can really see that have a uh, high room for error, you get to them and 
is intimidating. You know if you screw that up, it's like right beside your face, people are gonna see it. It's the thing that will probably make or break your garment, whether it looks really sharp and you're gonna wear it all the time or whether you're gonna put it on and remember, hey, I screwed this up. So that's my most dreaded sewing task. My favorite sewing task is cutting out the fabric. I actually really like that task. So like actually getting to get out your fabric that you're so excited about, you have your pattern ready, you have the time, whatever, and you get to, it's like when it starts to first come to life. I find once I get to the sewing task, it stresses me out a little bit more because the cutting is easy and the sewing is where things can start to go wrong. So that's my favorite. My favorite sewing entertainment is podcasts. I actually really love to listen to podcasts while I sew because I don't have to look at them and it's easy entertainment and it's quiet enough that I can do it while my kids are napping, like right now. And printed or PDF patterns, I like PDF. I actually don't own any printed patterns at all, I don't think. So I like the PDFs because um, I can get them easily in a small town in Canada just download them, I can use them right away, and I can print multiple sizes. I don't feel like I need to um, trace them because I don't have any tracing supplies, so that's um, why I really like those. What sewing machine do you use? I use a Genome. The model is MW3018, and it is um, 20 years old probably, close to that. It was sitting in my aunt's garage for probably the last decade. She gifted it to me when I started sewing again recently and I put some TLC into it, I cleaned it up, I got some new parts for it and it works quite well. It gives me some headaches sometimes but it's, uh, it's a great machine, it's really quiet, it's reliable so I like it. Do you have any other hobbies? I have two children, very young children. My son is two and a half and my daughter is almost a year old and I have um, a full-time job, so which I have to go back to in a year, so that keeps me pretty busy. Don't really have time for any other hobbies. I try to exercise when I can and get outside and that's it. I think that's about it, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you so much to Holly for starting this tag. I think it's a really great idea. I'm really excited to join the makers on YouTube and if I mentioned any products, um, I'll link them in the description bar below. And until next time, it's Chelsea. Thanks. <laughs>